Thank you and welcome everybody to uh, our webinar on lead capture with Facebook ads. And I think um, most of you know my background, but I'll share it with you again. Um, as you know, I am a licensed realtor, uh, but I'm really a marketeer. I have over 15 plus years of consumer marketing experience um, as vice president of Pfizer Pharmaceuticals worldwide for a, a product called Viagra. So I think some of you have probably heard that. Um, I was Rookie Realtor of the Year uh, my first year, and all the success that I had with that is from digital marketing, online marketing. And so I want to share with you today some of the tools that I use, especially with the Facebook ads. And I share this with my clients that are finding a great success with it. But I also want to introduce um, Leona Lori, who is a strategist, social media expert, and uh, she's a huge asset to our clients with her background. So if you wanted to share a little bit about your background, it'd be great. Hi, I'm Leona Lori. I also am in Orange County, and I've been doing social media strategy and training for about 10 years now. I've been in public relations for 15 years, and this has been the focus of what I do for the last 10. So I'm excited to have been invited to present with Carol today and talk about using Facebook ads. Oh, great, thanks. So we're, the, we're kind of like the dynamic duo for, uh, for our agents, our real estate clients. So we're today gonna really just touch on three key areas to capture uh, leads with Facebook ads, but there's there's more that we can do, but for our time, let's just talk about the three. And again, I shared this with you with real world experience because this is how I got leads my first year, and this is how my clients are capturing leads too. So the first one, I'm gonna say it's um, a value to value exchange. And the example would be the home buyer's guide and a home seller's guide. And that's something that I've created for the agent. And it's everything that you and I talk about all the time to a buyer and to a seller, right? Except now I put this guide together and made it a Facebook ad. When I say the one-to-one -one exchange, what I mean by that is, so this is a home buyer's guide and the table of contents. And I brand it to the agent. No matter which brokerage firm you work for and all the services that they offer, just remember their job is to brand their firm. My job is to brand you. So in this home buyer's guide, I brand the agent. So we'll have your bio, your photo. If you have a logo, that's even better. And then what we talk through here is the normal glossary of, you know, what's the process of buying a house? And it's a brief step-by-step -step overview. Or, you know, some of the home buyers, maybe they haven't purchased a home in a while, and there's new glossary of terms. We talk about the loan process. And then how do we ne successfully negotiate the deal? And then at the end, I put this worksheet together. Now, this is an example of a home buyer's guide. The agent targeted Newport Coast, and we ran it for about a month. And what the reach means is how many people this ad reached. Now, what is unique about Facebook is there are 1.44 billion viewers on Facebook. And that means to you, one out of two people that are on the internet are also on Facebook. So they have this huge, rich database. And as a marketeer, I love data. That's one of the huge benefits of digital is that we can track, measure every marketing dollar you spend. And I know there's a lot of you out there that believe in postcards because that's what we've done forever. And our broker encourages that. But that's business in 1999. And I want to bring you to the 21st century and help you. So with this, when I go in and mine, and when I say mine, the data to target specifically your target audience, which might be 40 years and older, 
or maybe a first time buyer, so maybe they're late 20s, early 30s, we'll, we'll designate an area, so whether it's Irvine, Costa Mesa, wherever you're, you're thinking for your buyer, right? In that area, we'll pick that. Um, maybe their net worth is worth half a million, 750, a million, two million, we can target that. They went to USC, they went to UCLA, they belong to this country club, they uh, drive that car, and then there, there's, what's so unique about it is there's a section under finances that will talk to you about most likely to buy, who just got engaged. So let's think about this. You send your postcards out, let's say you sent out 100 postcards, cost you what, three, four, five hundred dollars And on a street of four houses, one house is a renter, they just moved in, they got your postcard. The second house that got your postcard is they just refinanced. Your third house, they're never leaving. They've been there forever, they're gonna die in that house, they're not leaving. And the fourth house might have somebody who's interested. So now you've just spent, I don't know, $15, $20 on a postcard to that area, and only one particular person would be interested. With the Facebook ads, they are laser targeted and focused. And so when I create the message, it's gonna be something that's important to them, i.e. this is the home buyer's guide. So we'll go back to this example of, we ran it for about a month, we reached almost 4,200 people 63 people clicked on the ad and provided us a value to value exchange, their email address. And guess what? We spent $36. I mean, that's crazy. So again, I, my encouragement to you is to start thinking a little differently and try new things. And um, this has been one of the successes for our our clients for the agents on that. And then, um, Leona, can you show the seller's guide too? Oh, let me just stop here. So anybody who's really analytical, again, the benefit of doing digital is every single day you can see on uh, February 6th, 22 people were reached. Nobody clicked on it and we spent, we didn't even spend a buck that day. But on average, it was like $1.70 a day for an ad and for the reach, which is amazing. Um, seller guide? Okay, so here we go, here's the seller guide. Um, same thing, it's branded to the agent, I'll have your photo, your bio, um, an introduction, um, and about the, the, the fabulous service that you provide as a realtor, and how you are going to prepare the home and attract buyers, and then how you are going to help them get top dollar, because that's really what they care about, right? They want to sell their house for top dollar. And this guide walks them through all of this. You could talk about staging, how you negotiate the deal. So now this example, for the home seller guide. Again, we ran for about a month. We reached about 3,700 people. Impressions means how many people, how often they saw that in a day. So we had 15 clicks, and again, we spent about $38 in a month. Now, we do know there's more buyers, right, than sellers. So if, you know, the seller guide has more of an uptake of um, prospects than, than a seller guide does. But when I was, um, really actively prospecting. I was running four Facebook ads all the time. I will tell you, I tried Tulia, I tried Zillow, and I tried Realtor.com, and about 500 bucks a month. And the leads that I got were worthless, and they were a lot of money. So that's when I said, I am really going to understand the benefit of what the Facebook ads have. And that's how I came up with the, um, the Home Sellers Guide. So this is just you know, one example of how you could do lead capture. Um, you might have a question on is like, how do we get these email addresses and everything, right? So I create a landing page after they click on that, yep, yeah, I'm, I'm interested, I see the value of it, so I'm gonna click on it, and then they're gonna give us their information and then when they give us their email address, then they can get a PDF file for it and get this book. Um, the other way how I use the Home Seller's Guide is I use it in open houses. And I only had one copy sitting on the kitchen table. And 
with that, the buyer would come in or sometimes the sellers would come in and go, wow, this is really great. Lots of information. Can I have it? Absolutely. This is my only copy. But if you give me your email address, I'll email it to you. So again, a value to value exchange. They saw the value in the information that you provide and therefore they're gonna give us their email address. Once you get that email address, if you have a system in place to do email campaigns on a consistent basis, you can then put that information into your database. That's another webinar coming up. Um, so for the home seller guide and home buyer guide, it's a lot of information, but they see the value, the value in it. Um, so let's say, Lynn, can you show, do you have another example for Sheila? Again, here's the rich data, so you can see every single day, you know, spent a couple of dollars a day, but look how many people we, you know, February 18th, we reached 177 people in one day. Two people clicked on it for pennies. So let's see. Here we go. So this is how the ad looks like. This is Sheila Marsh. She's a client of, of mine, and it's the free guide every home buyer needs. Beautiful picture, and it describes, you know, it's a 30-page guide, includes tips on buying a home in Orange County, and it's a brief step-by-step -step overview and lots of more information. And then you can see the download button is right there. So only the people that we profiled that she is going after to target will receive the ad in the newsfeed. So again, if we go back to the example of the four homes on the street, we're not going after everybody. It's not a broad brush that postcards and print usually does. This is a very, very targeted ad. And so we only want to reach the people that fit the profile that we set forth with our strategy. Make sense? Okay. And then this is the home seller needs, you know, same thing, nice picture, home seller guide. If they're interested, download. And then they'll download it and they get it and then you can follow up, you know, with an email introducing yourself. Okay? Great. Okay, so that is one out of the three ways that you can do lead capture. And then a second way is to register for events, right? So that could be, hey, I'm hosting an open house, come on over, that's something you can do. Right now for one of my clients, we're doing a charity event for St. Jude's uh, Children's Hospital, and that's an event. So they still have to go, and again, take a step back, we're going to target our audience of who we want to receive these event ads, right? And so we'll pick a particular location so everybody can see that. And then um, we set the dates and the time frame of who, you know, for when we want it to be run. And then we set a budget of how much um, you want to spend to run your Facebook ad. And it could be, as you could see, a couple of dollars a day. The catch is the bigger your budget, the broader the reach. So you could do, I have some clients that are $100 a month, $200 a month, $50 a month. It depends on your budget and how many people we're targeting. But in regards to the, event, the events, so you could do like garage sale. This past summer, one of my clients, we did a garage sale um, event. Signed up, captured email addresses, then we put them into our email campaign strategy because we have the email from them, they gave us the permission, they saw the value in it. So there's lots of fun, different things that you can do to explore with events. Um, and then the other ad that I ran, so that would be my home buyer's guide, my home seller's guide. My other um, ad that I was always running is how much is my house worth, right? Everybody wants to know how much my house is worth. And you've probably seen it yourself in, in your own news feeds coming through. And so with that one, um, that one's a little bit more trickier. It's more detailed, but you collect, again, value-to-value -value exchange of, yes, I want to know how much my house is worth, and then I will give you my email address. And then there's an automatic, um, if there's a change in the market, a house went up for sale or a house got sold, um, I would say if anybody's using Top Producer, 
contact me because there's some great, great tools with Top Producer that I can share with you. Um, and if you're not using Top Producer, that's okay too. There's another way that we could figure out how much your house is worth and continue to, to capture uh, lead information that way. The key to anything though, is that we're 50% of the way there. It's like when you get a listing, it's like, yay, I pitched, I won. Now I gotta sell this house, right? So you're 50% of the way there. It's the same thing with a, a solid lead capture. So the, the agents that really do lead nurturing and have a process is the most successful with the leads, just like anything else. Because what happens is we get caught up in our day. So we have to, okay, do a listing presentation, take the buyer out, meet the appraiser. We got a home inspection. And oh, by the way, I've got my kids that are finishing up with school. I got to cook dinner and we've got homework. It's crazy, right? So if you have a process in place, and if you don't, I can help you with that, um, to continue to nurture when you get these leads, which is really, really important. And then I'm going to pass the, another idea over to Leona. Um, which is kind of fun uh, idea too that's been very successful. All right, so strategy number one is a value for value exchange. Strategy number two is running contests and promotions. And in my mind, the difference between the two is with a value for value exchange, the agreement is if you give me this, then I will give you that. So for every single person who takes advantage of, give me your email address, all of them are going to get registered for your event or uh, information on what their home is worth or access to a download of something like the Home Buyers and Home Sellers Guide. With a contest or promotion, they're exchanging their contact information for a chance at something from you. So if you're doing everybody give me your email address and I'll send you a free t-shirt, that's a value for value. If you're doing the first five people to give me their email address, will get a free t-shirt. That is a contest or promotion. And there are a lot of different ways you can do it. I mean, the easiest, the most basic way is just run a Facebook ad that says, like my page today, the first three people who've liked it are going to get X, whether that's a sticker or a t-shirt or a gift certificate to go to a local restaurant, you know, something that ties into the community you serve and the kind of people you're trying to target. That's the ideal zone to be in with whatever they're going to receive in exchange or whatever the prize is that you're offering them. Uh, the second way is if you have a landing page, and the ad that you're running on Facebook clicks out to a landing page. So there are a lot of different ways to do this. Um, if you are good with HTML, or if you've engaged somebody who's good with HTML, you can build a landing page directly on Facebook without needing any intermediaries. If you are good with your website, or you've got somebody who's good with your website, you can add the landing page to your existing website and have the Facebook ad click out to there. Or you can take advantage of, there are a number of third-party services that you can pay to build a landing page on Facebook for you. So the one that I use the most is called PageMoto, and there's one called WooBox. I mean, they've all got, you know, kooky names, but if you if you're looking for something that will help you with a landing page and you don't have somebody like Carol doing it for you, there are tools out there that will help you build a landing page for your contest or promotion. And then your Facebook ad, its job is to encourage people to go and participate. So at the very least, what you want is for them to give you their contact information in exchange for the chance to, to win. And at the most, Maybe they're agreeing to meet with you or inviting you to come and see them in their home in exchange for the chance to win. So there are a lot of different ways to structure that, but the thing that separates it from value for value is only some of the people who give you their contact information or ask for you to come and see them in person are going to get the prize that you're offering in exchange for that. And I think I'm going to send it back over to Carol for tip number three. Okay, so first strategy, right? It's the um, 
the lead capture with the home buyer's guide, home seller's guide. And then what Leona just shared with you is this contest exchange. And now the third one is something that's time sensitive, right? A time sensitive matter. So you're going to give them a deadline and you're going to ask them or you're going to say there's a strong call to action. So what that could be is if we go back and we use the home buyer's guide is where the home seller's guide is, get this home seller's guide in the next five days for free. We know it's free, but it gives them a sense of urgency and a deadline and you have a strong call to action. And that's what we want. And I'll give you a great example. So at the last literally five minutes today, I got phone calls and emails from other agents that I didn't register, but I only set it to a certain amount. And so that sense of urgency for for next time, they understand, oh my gosh, I better register. And that's the same sense of urgency that you want to give to potential buyers and sellers too. And, you know, there's an, another way that you could do is even, you know, $500 towards closing cost fees or $500 towards, you know, something of value that they would see, but it's for a very limited time. So that would be the third tip for another Facebook ad that you could, you know, consider in doing. Um, so those are the three I would say have been the most successful. Um, or fourth one, like I said, is my how much is my house is worth. Those are the four ads that I always was running, and so I was always collecting contact information that way. So I'd love to hear um, from you. Questions, comments, uh, feedback, what, what have you been doing? What's working for you? What's not so good for you, but you're still experimenting? I, I'd love to hear what everyone's doing. So let's say that everybody who's on today's webinar is in Orange County, and let's say that all of them want to go for something like the Home Buyers and Home Sellers Guide, and you know, is, is there a risk? Is there a real conflict if, if multiple realtors or real estate agents in the same area are, you know, doing a similar promotion or is the way that you target the ads going to keep their different audiences from seeing the same thing from multiple people? Oh, I'm so glad you remembered that question. That's I a too. great, great question. Yes. And I, I do get that from uh, other agents too. So, the target audience that you're going after might be slightly different than somebody else. And it might not just be in the same location that you are farming and that you are working, right? We, look how many other agents are already working a certain area. But here's the thing. How many agents have you seen doing exactly this? I didn't see anybody promoting a home buyer guide or a home seller guide, not one, because they stick what they have found to work, but the rules of the game have now changed. And so knowing that 80 to 90% of buyers and sellers are online and they're on Facebook, remember one out of two people on the internet are also on Facebook, you can laser target. But nobody, and this is your chance. This is what I really want to stress. You have a very limited opportunity right now because not everybody is jumping onto this new bandwagon because it takes time. It takes time to develop it, put the guide together, brand it, develop this landing page. But, you know, it's like a landing. Another thing I've got to learn at 11 o'clock at night. So I'll put a plug in for me only because. At the end of all day, after we've worked all day, and we now we've put the kids to bed and we did the dishes, at 11 o'clock at night, this is when I go, I have to really, now this is the time I have to do the marketing, I'm exhausted. And this was the aha moment, because again, I go back to my background. This is something that's uniquely different that you can do, and your competition is not doing it. This is your opportunity. So it's a small, small window. So even if they're out there doing different things, the traditional way, you have an opportunity to get something that is of value to a buyer or to a seller. So I would really encourage you, what, really, what do you have to lose? I, I ask you that um, because somebody asked me that a while back. What, what do I have to lose by experimenting and trying this whole thing? One, you need one, just one person, right? We, we, our brokers all tell us that. 
So um, don't worry about it. There's competition. This is this is not the normal. This is outside the box. Um, and so now you look for it in your news feeds and see what you find. So uh, great question. I'm really glad you asked that. Um, feel free to email me, call me, um, and we can chat a little bit more about um, your marketing needs. And I, ha I thank you so much for signing up, participating. I hope you found some value in um, learning how to use Facebook ads. And um, try it. You've got nothing to lose. And if you get stuck, give me a call, 949-922-2324. Um, uh, or carol at bloommarketing.com. And there's just a note, there's only one M uh, in Bloom Marketing. So carol at bloommarketing.com. Check out my website. It's digital marketing for real estate agents. Uh, there's lots of stuff on there. And download the ebook that's there on how to use social media to sell more homes. There's uh, te video testimonials of my clients, how they what they think so far. Um, there's case studies on different Facebook ads. So there's lots of information. Feel free, download, and um, thank you so much for taking your time and joining us today.